Looking for an authentic bed and breakfast experience here in the Roanoke Valley? Stay tuned. Everybody, it's Hal Cohn. And Chris Cohn with Cohn Realty Group. This is your first time to our channel, fifth, 50th, 100th time to our channel, and you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please make sure you do that now. And that bell icon so you're notified each and every time we release a new video about living, working, and playing, and a little bit of real estate <laughs> here in the Roanoke Valley. That's right. We have folks constantly contacting us saying they want to move to or within Roanoke, Salem, Botetide. If that's you, your friends, or your family, we would love to have a conversation with you, answer any questions you may have. You can call us, text us, or email us. Okay, so we are in Old Southwest today. It is just gorgeous out here. It's springtime. Yeah. Humidity is low. The temperatures are just fine and we're just kind of cruising around here so that we can get inside of a unique bed and breakfast here located right here in Old Southwest community. Yeah, and we want to encourage you, you know, when you're visiting here, bed and breakfasts are a wonderful option for accommodations. They're usually locally owned and operated, and you really get immersed in the culture of the place that you're staying. And I just, I love it, because you get to speak with the innkeepers, you get an excellent breakfast, great mm -hmm. accommodations, and we have so many to show you today. I'm really excited about bringing those to you. Like she said, we're proponents of locally owned and operated mm -hmm. bed and breakfast by all means. Authenticity is huge to us. <laughs> so whenever we've traveled in the past, you know, we have sought out some of these unique bed and breakfasts. Like in Washington State, whenever I was in healthcare IT, we yes. actually got to stay there because the hotels were booked up. So we got yeah, to stay in, a, sure. in, a, in an actual bed and breakfast. So she got to enjoy the bed and breakfast oh, while lovely. I worked. <laughs> <laughs> you work so hard. <laughs> Such a good guy. And then, yeah, up in Maine, um, we stayed at a couple bed and breakfasts, and my best friend and I did too. And they're just so lovely. I mean, there's something really charming and romantic about staying in a bed and breakfast. And so, yeah, always a good option. It's making me want to take a little vacation mm -hmm. and uh, perhaps go to a bed and breakfast. Well, and as you mentioned too, with the innkeepers themselves, it's like they are, per they are very knowledgeable about yes. the area. So they can help you find like local places to eat, right? local attractions, local things to do. They can help you with like, especially in Roanoke, like bike trails, yeah. access to renting bikes, kayaks, those types of things. So they're very gonna true. be an advocate for you helping you design a great, great vacation for yourself. Yeah, so the first one we're gonna go into is right across the street. And again, you mentioned that we were in Old Southwest. We have a couple of videos on that, but this is a historic neighborhood that is listed on Virginia landmarks and register and also the National Register of Historic Places. So you're surrounded by this architectural beauty and I can't wait. We're gonna pop into Roanoke Boutique Hotel, which is our first bed and breakfast we're gonna feature today. We're gonna tell you all about it, so stay tuned. All right, right now we are in the heart of the home here in the Roanoke Boutique Hotel. And as you can see, it is just gorgeous. Some people consider this or um, compare this to a farmhouse. The decor is just, a beautiful and it's got a lot of historic charm of course we'll talk about the history in a minute but I also want to mention how it's also been called a little bit of a funky vibe mm -hmm. and definitely an outdoor feel I don't know if you can see that in the background but there's a surfboard and over here oh on the wall head. there's some bikes just hanging out and I love the theme of the whole hotel the bed and breakfast just feels like it is just enticing you to go explore the outdoors. It is. And well, so you go explore the outdoors and then you come back here and you get to <laughs> chillax, right? Get so, pampered. Yes, right. right. Absolutely. So you want to tell them a little bit about where we are? Okay. Yeah. So we are in Old Southwest. So we're really, really close to downtown Roanoke. Mm -hmm. So if you're that close to, down, to the downtown area, you're going to have access to great pl local places to eat. You can be able to walk, you can be able to bike, you can take a scooter, mm -hmm. uh, those types of things. And then Diane, the innkeeper here, can help you also navigate going to Carvin's Cove, going to uh, Blue Ridge Parkway, Blue Ridge Parkway Appalachian, Trail. Appalachian Trail. You know, as you well know, if you're coming here, 
Lots of outdoor amenities are gonna be at your fingertips and, and Diane's gonna help you achieve that here. What I love too, speaking with her, is just the history of the home, of course, mm -hmm. but also the partnerships. Like these bed and breakfast owners, they are not, at, for lack of better words, they're not cutthroat. They are actually in it together and they support one another. One of them was actually even her mentor getting mm -hmm. into the business. Right. So perhaps if one doesn't have enough room, they send it, them to another one. So guess are sure to feel welcome and included in this network of Ben Breakfast. So that's really nice. It is. But partnerships are so important to Diane, the innkeeper here. She was talking to us about, you know, downshift her partnership with them and also a lot, just sending them to, sending guests to places rather than these big box stores and restaurants. But let's support our local community and give back and it creates this wonderful synergy. So I like that. So we talked about how this one has kind of a funky vibe and she really loves loves that but each bed and breakfast that you go to has its own character it has its own, its own thing. Yeah, yeah its own feel yep. so yeah. that's really neat but let's talk about the history of this one right here at Roanoke Boutique Hotel it was a building that was built in 18 I gotta check my notes 1890, 1890 I believe yes 1890 yeah. And it was very neglected when Diane purchased it. It was um, just a, a product of urban decay over time, unfortunately. But she really breathed life into the building, renovated beautifully. Yes. And she says a lot of people choose her bed and breakfast because of the historic preservation that she has in mind. And I'll just kind of do a pan, Hal, bear with me. But uh, you'll be able to see bits and pieces of this as we showcase things throughout the afternoon. Uh, but it is just, it's such a beautiful place. You can see all the exposed brick, original details of the house throughout. And it is a beautiful mix of outdoorsy, modern, and that farmhouse original history. So if that's a thing, then she nailed it. Of course it is, <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, I think the stats prove it. You know, the fact that she has people here right. consistently, I'm sure repeat customers, has people from the UK come over. So, I mean, she, she's hitting it on all cylinders. Now we've come upstairs and we are sitting in Reed's room right now and we're right adjacent to the um, to Raven's Roost. So Raven's Roost is a suite here at the Roanoke Boutique Hotel. With a clawfoot tub. With a clawfoot tub. It's beautiful. Yes. It's beautiful. And then Reed's room here does not have its own bathroom uh, on suite, but it's right across the hall. Super nice bathroom. I know. It was really nice. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing a little trek down the hall for that bathroom. That's we'll right. have to get that in the B-roll. It's beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> and then downstairs in the basement is a, is a second suite, which is called the Beverly Suite, which has this really cool, um, its own little private uh, patio area with a cool swing. So we'll get some, uh, we're actually going to film something there here in a few minutes. Well, not only that, it was it's a massive space that you can use. It's got, the of course, the, the bedroom, but it's got a living space area, a kitchenette, Jeanette, a yep. full table, mm -hmm. its own bathroom, and then that outdoor area, even an outdoor shower. <laughs> I love, love, love it. And so during the day, Diane said, of course, her favorite thing is meeting guests and, and learning more about them, but also about encouraging people to explore and enjoy these outdoor activities that we have at the tip of our fingertips mm -hmm. here in the Roanoke Valley. So after a long day of biking, kayaking, fishing, whatever you do, mm -hmm. then come back here. And what did you say? I said walk. take a nap. <laughs> take a little, a little siesta. Nap. <laughs> but yes. if you're ready for your long nap after a great dinner at a local restaurant that she recommends, you can curl up in this cozy bed. Mm -hmm. and it's a then, nice king bed, I super know. comfy. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, All the beds look very inviting. Mm, very plush. <laughs> uh, but in the morning, she is going to fix up a beautiful breakfast. One of her more popular breakfasts is plant-based protein breakfast, and that is sure to get your day going well. Unless you choose to do breakfast on the mountain, but you, it is not for the faint of heart. She no. said it's an eight mile trek, so you gotta be adventurous, but she can hook you up. So you get up, you put headlamps on, and you hike up McAfee's Knob so that you can see the sunrise, which is just spectacular. So Yeah, and McAfee's Knob is really the iconic 
picture of hiking and the gorgeous summit overlooking this breathtaking view of the entire region. So you're probably familiar with hearing about McAfee's Knob. Could you imagine a picnic breakfast up there? No. A strenuous hike for sure. This is not for the faint of heart, yep. like you said, but, uh, but that would be so rewarding to hike up in the dark, have a great breakfast, and then hike back and get to see everything in the daylight. So you may not be able to see our faces very well, but that's the whole point right here yes. because we want to showcase this amazing oh. porch swing oh. here at Roanoke Boutique Hotel. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it I would is. love to curl up there, take a little cat nap, listen to a little music, have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we need a vacation. A staycation <laughs> here in Roanoke. We'll just do it uh, local, right? So Absolutely. we'll support local uh, with our wallets <laughs> and our there time. You go. So, but while we're here, and this is a great spot to highlight a couple of the other uh, bed and breakfast that we yes. want to talk to you about today. So which one are we going to talk about now? We're talking about Shirley's Bed and Breakfast, which is really one of the top rated bed and breakfasts in the area. It gets such great rem remarks and reviews, and it's a vintage bed and breakfast with a twist. And I know what you'll like. They serve a southern breakfast, an authentic southern breakfast. So I can imagine how good that is. Cha-ching. Yummy, yes. yummy, yummy. And I think I saw something <laughs> about hot ride cars, right? Yes, they have a collection of hot ride cars. And by going back to kind of the charm of it, oh, it sorry, is I a- Oh, sorry, I jumped ahead, I know, my bad. I know, I know. It's based on West Virginia lodging, and so it has a, it's a neat log. Of, um, it's a log cabin style? Yeah, thank you, log Isn't cabin it? style. Yeah. So I'll have to check that one out. I think that sounds really neat. But it's, what what I love about it is the convenience. It is close to just about everything, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. What's one of your favorite golf courses that you haven't been to? <laughs> <laughs> Ballyhack, it's close to Ballyhack, it's close to Explore Park. Uh, you're 10 minutes, but, but you're, you're close to all those amenities, but you're yes. 10 minutes from downtown Roanoke I as well. Know. How convenient is that? Uh, right. If you're not familiar with Explore Park, which it's really close to, there are so many amenities there for the outdoor lovers. I mean, hiking, mountain biking, fishing, kayaking, tubing, tree quest. Horseback riding. Yeah, horseback riding. You yeah, bring your own horses, I believe. Treetop quest. Treetop right? quest, yeah. Yeah, and then there's there's just so much to do there. It's a fantastic place. There's even camping there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Twin, Twin Creeks Brewery is there as well. That's true, there's yeah. A, there's a big visitor center there, so you can uh, definitely find out more about the Roanoke Valley as well as right. uh, entertain yourself. Yes, so let's hop back to Shirley's and talk about some of the amenities they have. They have a pool. In addition to a collection of hot rod cars, they have really spacious large suites and a cottage for more privacy. I like that. That's that's nice, especially if you have a bigger family that's coming or doing a couple of, of uh, families combined for a vacation. That would be nice. Yeah, I was thinking if you're staying in bed and breakfast, in my opinion, part of the quaintness and the attractiveness of it is the fact that you get to mingle with yes. people uh, throughout different visitors from different places, right? right. So you get to find yeah. out about them and socialize and all that, that type of stuff. Yeah, agreed. And then they also have a fridge in each suite and complimentary snacks, beer and wine. And of course, a cleaning service too. So I, I like this uh, Shirley's bed and breakfast a lot. I think we will definitely put that on the list of go to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ching, ching. <laughs> okay, so our next authentic bed and breakfast we're going to bring to you now is going to be the Black Lantern Inn. And I like the location of this. Convenient, again, to downtown, yet all those outdoor attractions and amenities we talked about. But this one is really close to the hospital as well. So you have that accessibility. And we mentioned Dr. Pepper Park. If you're interested in outdoor music concerts, there you go. Yeah, and we talked to um, Waynette over there. She said that she had people last year, especially coming down from Northern Virginia. Yes. And so if you're from Northern Virginia or from anywhere you're coming from out of town, any of these places would be great, but Black Lantern, you could probably stay there, walk across the bridge to Dr. Pepper Park, take in some live music, and have a great, uh, great Friday or Saturday evening. Great idea. So this is a modern urban comfort bed and breakfast. And what I like about it is that there are bathrooms in each of the three rooms. But I think that's really a matter of preference, right? Diana it is, was talking yeah. about how some families actually enjoy having the, ba the bathroom separate from the bedroom. So... There you go. This one offers mm -hmm. bathrooms in all three and they have a lot of other amenities like full use of the kitchen and also a fire pit. That would be great, especially now in the spring. Wonderful evenings spring, for Spring, fall, yep. Mm -hmm. A perfect view of Mill Mountain Star. And as you know, it illuminates at night. So you'll get that 
gorgeous quintessential Roanoke feel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they pulled, the city of Roanoke pulled a um, fast one on us on April Fool's Day. They told us they were going to change the shape of the star. Yes. So they were voting on mountain, square, <laughs> or circle. That was a good one. That was good, yeah. <laughs> Covered porches. You also have organic breakfast and luxurious accommodations in the way of your mattresses, sheets, and pillows. So sounds like you could get a really great night's sleep. But when you're not sleeping or enjoying a hearty, great breakfast, they offer a lot of packages as well. Like um, if you love antiques, they mm -hmm. have a package for you. And also with your stay is included with a tour of the area with or without a guide and dinner. So you know me, I love getting tours wherever we are, whether uh -huh. it's a trolley tour or I have a local come up and give us some tips. I soak that in. Yes. <laughs> and I'm all about the food tour, right? So if we can get the brewery and or breakfast tour, that's where I'm at. I want to show you the oh. main event of Roanoke Boutique Hotel. This is Frank. Look how sweet. Oh. And Diane told us that if you go to... <laughs> You're trying likes to give out. me sugar. All right. Oh. <laughs> if you like them on Instagram, you'll be able to see pictures of Roanoke Boutique Hotel as well as Frank. Apparently, he is a very popular pup. That's right. Follow him on Instagram. Okay, so, so let's talk about the uh, the last authentic bed and breakfast we're going to give you today. It's going to be the King George Inn here in Roanoke. Yes, and this one is located in Old Southwest as well, so you're close to a lot of things. You are framed by the Blue Ridge Mountains and within walking distance to downtown again. So very super convenient. I love that. They have a gourmet breakfast. Well, and you're, if you're close to downtown, you have a gourmet breakfast, and you're going to have to make sure you're walkable, right? Yes. So you walk downtown, <laughs> check out Mass General Store, check out Chocolate Paper, you know, check out some restaurants because you'll be hungry after you walk a little while, right? So, <laughs> or anyways, you would. Or yes. I would, yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. And then, so um, some of the amenities I like here, of course, they have internet for you and for guests. And so they have library as well, breakfast and dinner, mountain views, and also a wedding venue with packages. So if you're looking for a quaint, beautiful, charming wedding venue, this may be the ticket for That you. might be the spot for yeah. you, absolutely. Consider King George Inn for sure. Stay on site, wedding on site, can't get much better than that. I know, yeah. So we encourage you to check all of these bed and breakfasts out in more detail. We just skimmed the surface. Each one, like we said, has its own vibe and you're sure to find one that pleases you and it just, it adds to your enjoyment of your visit here in Roanoke. All right, so if you're coming to visit Roanoke, make sure you check out the rest of our videos that will help you have a splendid excursion when you find Roanoke as your destination for a weekend or a week or a month or whatever. Or forever. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you have any questions, you're welcome to call us, text us, or email us.